What's good everybody? This is your boy No Storm 15. Welcome to my YouTube channel Killer Kicks. Today I have a very um not so normal review. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be showing my collection of eyewear for sunglasses that I have so far. I'm literally only looking to add one more uh to the collection. Um but this collection, I mean this review is more so to talk about the Louis Vuitton uh Millionaire 1.1, okay? Um, I've seen a lot of reviews and there is a lot of misinformation. So uh, the purpose of this review is to, one, help you authenticize what it is that you purchased, especially if you purchased it on the secondary market. So, you know, I know how nerve wracking that could be. Um, and I'm telling you that these are, I'll show you the receipt and everything. They're 1000% legit. I literally just came from the Louis Vuitton store like maybe an hour ago. Uh, here in Pennsylvania, which is the King of Prussia Mall location. So, uh, um, you know, so I want to show you these first and then, and then I want to show you these because the difference between these, to be honest, is going to be one, a little bit of the look, but the pricing is going to be uh, the difference, the big difference. Okay. So let's get into the Louis Vuitton uh, millionaires. So, the first thing that I'm gonna say is the box, okay? And this is something that I, I actually taught myself years ago when I had the uh, Supreme Louis Vuitton. Um, I, I literally had to train my eyes, um, you know, because when you're presenting these pictures, you wanna make sure that you are giving um, the buyer um, confidence, you know, to shop with you, okay? So these are things that I would show and these are things that I had to look you know, way back then, okay? As you can see, the box has these lines that go up and down, okay? This is what you want your box to look like, okay? You want your box to have the rigid feel, and you want the box to have the line all the way across. Not only that, okay? Look at the font of the lettering. Look, um, they're bold letters, and they rise, okay? So, um, you know, these aren't really like good indications. I wish I could see, but like if you see the O right there, like it's puffy. So all of these are puffy letters, okay? Um, another thing is the rigid is also on the lettering. So the lettering is never a smooth texture. It's never a flat texture. It's always bold letters that rise and they have that same rigid feeling that's on the box and you can see it on the light as well, okay? So, and they do this even on their bags and on their bags, you could kind of have a better indication. So you see how rised the letters are, okay? Especially if you look at the letter L, okay? And the letter O, but also look at the rigid lines. You see it across the font. So these are things that you want to look at, okay? And you can kind of see that uh, because the lettering is so thick that it's at, um, it honestly goes in the bag. I'm trying to get the damn bag, but you can see, you see how the bag is. So it literally goes through the bag, all right? All right, boom, so let's take these out. Um, a lot of reviews that I've been seeing, um, and I should have asked them, I should have asked them at the Louis Vuitton store. I've been seeing people with blue boxes, and then I've been seeing people with black boxes, and I honestly can't tell you, uh, what's real and what's fake. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some of them come in blue boxes, maybe, them, maybe some of them come in black boxes. Um, but again, nice, genuine leather, okay? The magnet, you see how the magnet is like a cross and it should just be effortless, effortless. See, I don't have to do much. If you gotta do like this, no, it should, it should literally just shut on its own, all right? All right, so, again, like I said, King of Prussia Mall. I'm backing up what I'm saying. Uh, these were 890. 
So the sales and tax was $53, so it came out to $943, okay? So, yeah. <clears throat> All right, so, and this is what your receipt should look like. Okay, this is what the lettering should look like. All right. Client copy. Nothing really crazy in the back, all right? Because trust me, they even <laughs> they, they they even making fake uh <laughs> receipts out here. It's kind of crazy. Um, then you have your your style, which I'm gonna get about this, but this is basically what should be on the side of the lens. Z one one six five E. The letter E is goes pertaining to the size, okay? So there's two different sizes. There's a W and there's a E. Okay, so if you have a size E, with his, which is uh, Eastern, then it'll be Z1165E. And if you have a W, which were, um, I think is Western, then it'll be Z1165W, okay? There's really not too much that I can say about the tank type, but at, again, Look at the font. You even see on the font, it has like ridges. Okay, so this is something that they do on all of their products, okay? Don't let somebody jip you out your money. Oh, no, 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 man. That's just, you know, even on this, okay? Don't let yourself get fooled, okay? All right, so the dust bag, the dust bag feels very smooth. It, I mean, it feels like a dust bag. It's like a cloth material, not canvas, nothing like that, okay? It's like a cloth material, all right? <clears throat> and here they go. So, um, as you can see, you have your Louis Vuitton, these two gold strip that goes all the way across, okay? And then you have that belt loop. Um, I have seen fake ones that have a letter C here on the side. Now, here's the interesting part about that, okay? Because those are fake. If you go on the Louis Vuitton website, okay? And I cannot make this up. If you go on the Louis Vuitton website and you look at their product picture, which is not an, it's not the actual product, it's computerized, you will see that on the side, there is a letter C. So I think that the reasoning from them to do that is to get the factories that do bootlegs um, to manufacture them that way. You know, that way it could throw them off like, oh, well, this is how they're supposed to look because this is the way that Louis Vuitton is um, promoting it on their website. But what you see on their website is not the way that it looks in person. And on their website, like I said, on the left hand side, it has the letter C, okay? Um, but this looks amazing, okay? I mean, you can kind of see it's almost like a dipped. I mean, these joints are crazy, all right? And the same for the other side. And then you see inside here, Louis Vuitton, Paris, France, 2018. And as I said, 2011-65E, okay? And then these are your other numbers. Always look at that box, made in Italy. And then on this side, you have these numbers right here, okay? So, let's talk about sizing, okay? Uh, one of the misunderstanding, right, that people would say um, is that E is for people that have a flat nose, and W is for people that have a regular bridge nose, okay? Um, I had a chance to buy these on, on the aftermarket for 700 And the guy was like, yeah, you know, you should just get a size W. Just get a size W. You be good. Get a size W. You be good. And something just kept on telling me like, damn, man, I don't want to spend that type of money, man, just to get something that may not fit. So I decided to pass on it for numerous reasons. Uh, one, it was coming from Brazil. Um, and two, I, I was just unsure. When I went to the store, the lady asked me, um, do you know the difference between the W and the E? And I explained to her what my knowledge was. And she said, yeah, that's absolutely correct. Now, when I went to go try on the W, it was tight, okay? And particularly, 
right here on the bridge nose and towards the back, okay? Towards the back, like over here, it was very, 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 very tight, okay? And I'm going to show you some uh, face um, reviews to see how they look on my face. What what you want from these glasses is you should be able to just you you should just be able to slide them on your face, like a scully or like a baseball cap or like gloves that you put on your hands. They should effortlessly, uh, effortless, effortless. Blah. <laughs> they should easily just go on your face, okay, without no type of uh, without it feeling too tight, okay. I've seen people say, oh well, uh. These glasses weigh so much, man, and I have like marks underneath. And it's not really so much that the glasses are heavy, it's that you have the wrong size and you're forcing it, okay? So kind of what it feels is like, make pretend that my two fingers are the hinges. So when you try it on your face, it's like almost like this. So it kind of feels like you're, like you're, like you're spreading the hinge and it kind of, it kind of looks like you're forcing the... So if this is the glasses, okay, like literally, this is it right here. When you're putting it on, it kind of feels like this. So now you're forcing the front to kind of close in. So that's why it feels like it's tight. When I tried the E on, man, it was like perfect. And I was like, I'm so glad that I bought it in store. Um. So in terms of weight... Let's see how many grams this is, okay? All right, so these weigh 69 grams, okay? 69 and just, uh, oh, well, oh, you're doing it the wrong way. Okay, 69, all right? So, you know, when I tried these on, it didn't feel bad at all. Like, I... I t I love these, all right? Now, damn, Hiram, you know, I like these, but I honestly can't spend that type of money, which, you know what? I should leave this out, okay? Let me leave this out. Okay, so let me show you these, okay? So Virgil has his own brand called Off-White. You you got to understand, Virgil is the designer, um, and he just got a contract with Louis Vuitton, So, but, but that doesn't mean that he can't take his design somewhere else. And luckily for him, he owns his own brand called Off White. Okay, so damn, Hiram, you know what? I can't, I can't afford to spend nine hundred and um, forty something dollars. Okay, so let me show you the one that he does for his brand, uh, which costed me three hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, these are the Off Whites, and as you can see, the structure of this is literally identical, okay? You know what? Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison, all right? And this is one of the mistakes that I think that Louis Vuitton did. Like, they think that they got a slouch, but this guy, he's one of the best designers that there is out there, okay? All right? Look how identical these are, okay? Um, these are amazing. These are amazing. Again, I'll show you a on-face picture of these. Uh, you can see it has a carving. It says off-white. And then it has this logo on like this powder blue. Um, these are very nice. Very, 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 very nice. The details on these are amazing. Okay, off-white. And yeah, and these are also made in Italy. Okay, as you can see right there. And these are nice. So these could probably be a second option for you. You know, if you want to support him, um, if you want to, you know, support his movie, you can obviously see that these are literally almost like the same shades, except that these are Louis Vuitton and these are off-white. But they're literally from the same designer, which is uh, Virgil, okay? Um, and I'm going to show you what they weigh, okay? These, I I wore them today, and these were very nice. So, let me close these all the way. So, these weigh a little bit less. So, these are 64, okay? Which I think is like a gram less, right? 64. 
All right. And again, 64, all right? Um, so, yeah, if you want to buy something that is, like, identical to it, but you just can't afford that, you know, that crazy amount of money, you should definitely look into his brand because he's going to, he's going to make almost, like, the same style. Now, um, just to show, uh... And the cool thing about these, before I even move on to the next one, the cool things, of, uh, the cool thing I like about these is uh, this authenticator. So because they came with this bag, you just scan to check your authentic product. You just scan this, and this will let you know exactly who was the person that bought this, and if they bought it from their website, this will show you. Okay, so pretty cool. I like that. I actually wish that um that Louis Vuitton would do that. Okay, so let me show you the last sunglasses that I have. These are uh these were actually like my first pair of like sunglasses that I like spent like crazy money on. Um these are called vintage frames. Uh this is from a guy in Canada. You should follow him on Instagram. And these are actually designed um after the millionaires. So the Louis Vuitton ones are called the millionaires. These are called the billionaires. <laughs> and um, these are actually friends and family. And he has this nice 24 karat gold that goes all the way across. I mean, these frames are beautiful. Um, he has a saying in the inside, stop acting like you live twice. Um, these are amazing. The structure of these glasses, you see, it says VF, the billionaire. The structure of these glasses are insane. I honestly feel like these weigh a lot because every time I wear them, not because they're tight on my face, but I kind of feel like, damn. So let me see how much these, and just the, like, he showed like a video of every, like he made a see-through version of these. So all these hinges, um, Man, I mean, these feel quality. I mean, I saw a video and he made a see-through version for you can see everything that goes in here. It's insane. So I'm wondering how much these weigh. Wow, so these only weigh 62, which is crazy. So 62. So these weigh these weigh less than uh the Louis Vuitton and yeah, so these weigh less than the Louis Vuitton and the uh, um and the Virgin one. Uh, in a weird way, th they feel so much heavier, um, but not that much. But yeah, so that is my little small collection. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, please thumbs up if you like this. Um, if you found it informative, I I really you know I thank y'all. You know I really did this for that y'all can see um, what it is that you're gonna be buying. So um, let me know in the comment section if you own this particular model or if you own the other colors. There are other nice colors. Uh, there's, uh, they even had at the store, they had white, they, uh, white and gold, they had red and gold. Um, me personally, I like the black and gold because it does have a classic style look and they kind of reminds me of like Versace, you know? It, it just has like a classic look to it that you could wear forever. Uh, second after these would definitely be like the red and gold, but I think that the red and gold is like definitely too out there, you know? So uh, yeah, I hope man that you enjoyed this. Till next time, peace out.